Ghost in the Machine, 1993, directed by Rachel Talalay, starring Karen Allen, Will Horneth, and Chris Mulkey. A serial killer continues his murderous spree from beyond the grave after his soul is transported into a computer network. I was pleasantly surprised by this film. I was expecting a ghost movie and instead got a supernatural slasher with a pinch of cyberpunk. Ted Marcoux is genuinely creepy as the serial killer before he becomes the killer cyber ghost hacker man. Rachel Talalay, the director of this film, also directed Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare, and Tank Girl. Talalay brought her experience from Nightmare on Elm Street to this production. The film has very nightmarish atmospheric vibes. Noteworthy kill? Death by hand dryer. Interestingly enough, this film explores the idea of a killer hacker before the introduction of smart technology. Strangely enough, Wood is capable of conducting electricity in a scene. There are some surprising familiar faces in this film. Karen Allen from Raiders of the Lost Ark, Rick Ducommon from The Burbs and Blank Check and every other early 90s film basically, Will Horneff, who also appeared in The Sandlot which came out in the same year along with Allen and another actor in this film. There is a few awkward choices, like a scene where the kids successfully pay their babysitter to show them a little skin, and the climactic battle with the heroes fighting a primitive video filter. Nevertheless, the film holds up well enough. Verdict recommended. A fun little early 90s slasher that tried something a little different. That concludes this week's review. If there's any obscure sci-fi or horror film you'd like to suggest, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to tune in next time for another thrilling low-budget adventure.